Cursor CLI, build the application right from your terminal. It's a great alternative to Claude Code or Gemini CLI if you already have Cursor subscription. It also supports VS Code, Cursor and many other code editor. You are able to review agent edits, confirm the changes right from your terminal. You can stare in real time, human in the loop and then set up your own rules using agents.md file and MCP tools. You have access to some latest models and you can just get started with just one line of command. This is a drone simulator which I built using Cursor CLI. So wherever I click automatically, the drone follows. That is really nice. And I'm gonna take you through step by step and all the list of features available in Cursor CLI. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Go to cursor.com slash CLI and here is the command. Just copy the command on your computer, open your terminal, then enter the command like this and then click enter. Now it's automatically download that and the installation is complete now. So here are the next few steps. So you can just copy and paste it here. This is just so that cursor agent is automatically added to your system by default. So I'm just copy this code, echo expert and source. That's it. Now I can start the agent by typing cursor agent. So clearing the screen and typing cursor hyphen agent. That will start the cursor agent. And here you can see the visualization here. So now it's asking me to sign in. So I'm going to click enter and it will automatically ask you to confirm from cursor.com. And if you have a subscription already, you can directly sign in. You can even get started for free a two week trial for cursor. It's worth trying it out. Now coming to the terminal, so I can just type backslash and you got various options here. So first we are going to see about model. So clicking on model and you got three different model. These are the latest model. So I'm choosing GPT-5 for now. Then the next you got auto run. So you can click this and set it to auto run. So it can automatically run all the terminal commands on your computer, like a full fledged agent. Next you got clear to clear the previous commands. Next, you got compress. You might have a big conversation to and fro. If you send all the conversation to the agent, that will cost a lot. By doing compress, it automatically compresses the conversation. Next, if you want to use Vim keys in your terminal, you can toggle that. You got help and provide the feedback. You can resume previous chat so that it knows the context. Next, we got copy request ID, log out, quit, exit, sync with the theme, Open the picker for chats and background agents using list and also with resume. So these are the quick features. I believe more features are coming soon, considering this is just a beta version. Now I'm going to provide a task and test this. So I've got a prompt, a drone simulator. So entering the prompt here and then clicking enter. Now it's generating me the code. Now it's automatically generating based on the request. And here is the full code written. As a follow up prompt, I'm just saying, write that in a file. Now it's written in this index.html file. So I'm going to try opening it. Here's index.html and here is the full code. So now I'm going to try and open it. And here's the output. It's a drone simulation as you can see here. It's trying to post that orbit on off. So if I click and set a target, it automatically focus on that. So this is really nice. And I really like all these three JS simulation using GPT-5. The key things which I like about this is it's using headless CLI. This can be used to automate many of your tasks. By just passing one command like this, it can automatically do a big task for you, such as review a big code base, review security issues, fix any bugs in the code, analyze the whole code base, refactoring the code base, just with one line of command. And similarly, you can add that to GitHub Actions. This is also an advanced mode. Whenever you save some changes to GitHub, we can automate the process of reviewing the code and approving the code. And you've got different examples here. Analyze PR changes, create and manage Git branches, commit and push changes, post comments on pull requests, handle all error scenarios. And do try all these examples. You can also allow or deny permission for certain tools. One more type of authentication that is API key authentication. So you can generate the cursor API key from cursor and then use the API authentication if you plan to use this within any CI CD pipeline. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this Cursor CLI. Considering you already like Cursor CLI, I also created about Gemini CLI with loads of latest features. I'll put the link in here 
and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.